Joe. Hi, everybody. So Good glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. These ring walks not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Marvelous is the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. at all time. Let's touch him up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Yeah, good work. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Worked by Marvelous. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his leg. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Fine looking right hand by Marvelous. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit job. stop. They got to get refueled. This is his pit stop. Getting a little gas. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. A little Good head hunting with the left. <laughs> Halfway through this round. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Keep it going. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Marvelous. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. He comes right back with a big one of his own. Marvelous is left, landing well. Good flush shot upstairs. It's okay, let's go. Good solid overhand left. You're okay, you're okay. Your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. And he ties up on the inside. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good defense, just covering up down low. A well-targeted jab. Marvelous is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Big, big shot he just scored with. A sharp knifing punch, and that power hand just scored the knockdown. Two, three, four, five. 
So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Well-placed left hand there. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Super two-punch combo by Marvelous. Oh, what a huge power punch. Crashes home with the uppercut. Scoring with the right hand by Marvelous. Get inside! Get inside! Scores up top with a left. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Don't let him get to you, kid! And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas. Marvelous is cracked by a right hand. Nice block by Marvelous. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand score. Smart jab by Marvelous. Marvelous is out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counterpunch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there, you know. You're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow. And then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. Marvelous is tagged! Up top with the right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Piercing jab. Sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Well off the mark by Marvelous. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Good shot there with that left. Okay, listen. Stick close to this guy. Don't let him get too far. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. A harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Stay focused on the inside! You got this one! Halfway through round number four. You got some of that too. Let's go. Able to place the right hand in there. Hooks on the inside. He engages in the clinch. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Double jab. Snaps that jab, jab out. the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Marvelous. Yeah. 
What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. Hard charging with that right hand. Big shot there. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Marvelous has got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Is damaged back. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Three, four, five, down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Keep working Hits him in the mug with the right. Good job protecting himself. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Oh, and there you go. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. The fight is over. Marvelous is hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore that does it ringside we'll see you next time